Happy Vlogmas Day 4. I think it's a prancing reindeer. Recycle empty packaging into plant pots with our upcycling tips. Inside is a cute little bunny nail file. Guys, how amazing is this? So Stacey Hammond Art, she is supplying day 11. Day 11's prize is amazing. Part of the prize is your own personalized print that she'll draw for you. There's other bits included. I won't tell you that till her day, but this is coming soon. Oh my God, this is so amazing. I can't wait to receive this. I just forwarded this to Paul. So remember Heather, that was in yesterday's giveaway. We're thinking of getting a personalized one done for Kiara. So on here, it will have a full name and the date she was born. I think that's just a beautiful keepsake for Mark and Tamsin for Christmas. Obviously, Kiara too. <laughs> Thought I would share a little addition that I've got. Can you notice these beautiful pampas grass? These are from the Little Deer. They're the people that I bought my copper rails. If you've ever seen those before, they're from there. They're an amazing independent. So I thought these would be beautiful for the room. I might look at maybe like a vase or something. I don't know if Wilkinson's will have one. I might look in QD. I know a lot of you don't have QD. So I'm gonna show you around there as well. I thought it was like a, a national thing, but then when I looked it up, remember that time I shared it on my stories and I was showing you all like my favorite bits that I'd found in QD and everyone was like, what is a QD? It's like a B&M at Home Bargains, like an affordable store just full of a range of things, but I'll bring you around today. So I'm gonna to go to Wilkinson's, I'm gonna to go to QD. I'm gonna get all the bits I mentioned yesterday. So I'm looking for command hooks for Christmas lights coming from Argos with some other bits. I wanted to look for garlands. I'll go into QD to see if there's any nice like glassware for, I think, I don't know. What do you think? Does the pampas grass need to be in a vase or is it fine like that? Like I can imagine maybe quite like a spherical vase with like a smaller, top would look quite nice opposed to like a normal kind of cylinder someone said on instagram that they love how this room looks quite empty but they like it so they wondered what i do for like storage where i put things so before i used to do my makeup sat at this desk area i don't actually now i sit on the floor by the full length mirror but when i did use it i would put my makeup in this box so that's why there is a deal box there because it's really good to hide all your makeup in there once you're done. So over here is where I sit and do my makeup. So this is left out when I last put makeup on. But usually, if I'm good, I'll put that away. And in this Gucci shopping bag, I have hair products. That's where my makeup usually goes. I have my hair dryer. That's my little get ready station on the floor. And by the side of the bed four, we had these black nightstands from Ikea. The thing is, we just filled it with so much crap just because there was storage and you could hide it. I switched out to these crates, which I had like something sent to me in and then I painted them white. I love keeping things. I'm a bit of a hoarder, but I know I could then use things in future for like a better use. But I love these because they're very minimal. All we can really put on there on top is a tea, a lamp, photos, just decorative things underneath. You can put books here if you like reading. That's a great like display area and storage but with nice minimal side tables, you can't fill them with crap because it looks unsightly. You're left being very organized. It's quite funny that I'm speaking about being organized because I have a lot of stuff and I'm not that organized or tidy usually. Like this is the tidiest room in the whole house. The master bedroom, I, I still haven't unpacked all of my clothes. I need to sort those out. I think it's Sunday in Norwich at Erpingham House and I'm meant to be going there and selling some stuff. So vendors can either swap things or sell to members of public that are coming that have bought tickets. So if you want to do some shopping of like secondhand items so they'll be cheaper but they'll be in like good condition still. So I'll link below to if you want to go to that, get tickets. That's on Sunday. But I do need to sort out some clothes. I have a lot of clothes that I haven't worn in literally years so there's no point me keeping on to them. This room may look lovely, but you guys only see what I'm happy with, but there are areas of the house, there are rooms that I'm not happy with <laughs> that aren't tidy. And um, when I did like my house renovation videos, people were like, oh, it's so weird seeing like the full house and it has such a different vibe to what I show on Instagram. I've just come down the stairs and this morning, I do like this garland that I've put above the mirror. I think when you walk downstairs, your eye gets drawn up and it really, 
just makes the hallway feel bigger. I don't know if that makes any sense. I just feel like my eyes are being drawn up only because it's new, isn't it? I just had this arrive through the door. So I need to check that it fits where I want on the door, but this should be the last thing I need to draft proof it. So this is the last thing I added on the door just to cover up. And then I realized we have another one. So this one to sit over there video is now up and watching this reminded me I need to get the fish out of the freezer. The video also reminded me when I go out to go to Wilkinson's and to QD I need to go somewhere to get some sweet potato to make sweet potato fries and they are so good. I bet you're excited for tonight's cooking show. <laughs> Look at the tree in the background it looks so cute. Okay everything is up, video is up, I've announced the giveaway on Instagram it is almost half one. I need to start editing videos in the evenings again. But it's hard because I just want to chill with Paul. But the trouble is when I'm editing in the day, it's just taking up all my mornings. And obviously it gets dark at like, what, three? Although today is so misty. I'll show you outside. It's bloody freezing outside. But look how misty it all is. Again, having food late in the day. This isn't good, is it? I'm gonna reply to comments on yesterday's video. It's getting closer to the time to announce the winner. I would have popped out already to go to Wilkinson's and that, but I have my Argos parcel coming. Today's video will be about hopefully finishing off the decorations because I'll have the Christmas lights and I'll have garlands to do the stairs. That means the hallway will be done. I might call up my parents. I wonder if they want me to come over and help them do the tree. I'm really tempted to order some warm white lights for that tree I just can't relax in there I know it's gonna be like effort taking off the baubles taking off the lights I'm thinking I don't need 750 lights if I got 500 they're a lot shorter I just got a message from one of my Instagram interior friends Daniel we're doing a little collab together which is exciting and I should be seeing him on Friday I'm going to my first ever Instagram interiors meetup so I'm looking forward to that. That will be Friday's video. Not gonna lie, I feel like people never have anything good to say about the delivery company Yodel. I just had a message saying, your parcel has been delivered. No, it hasn't. I went outside the door to see if it had been left somewhere and there's no note saying they'd missed me. It hasn't been delivered unless it's been delivered somewhere else. Oh my god, in this story, so you saw earlier in this vlog, I posted about the pampas grass and I also posted it on my story the messages back have been quite funny. So apparently, I've heard this story before, but pampas grass outside your house means that you are a swinger. But I think I heard it's actually two plants outside your house signals that you are a swinger. So I don't think my parents are, were. That's just weird. <laughs> I'm just speaking with Amelia because she's getting her chimney swept today. And she has some really helpful information. So I'm thinking about getting a chimney balloon just to keep the heat in the house. And then the person who swept her chimney had this suggestion. Using a bin bag full of newspaper put up there should work. That's actually a really great tip because it's cheaper than having to buy a chimney balloon. You're saving on postage and all that kind of stuff. I guess we'd then just need to have enough newspaper. Maybe I'll ask my parents to save up their newspaper. My dad gets a paper every day. Um, also Paul's. So if I do that, get Paul's dad as well to do it, then we'll have it in no time. Winner of the second 12 days of Christmas giveaway chosen at random is... So I'm about to unveil 12 days of Christmas day 4's giveaway prize. And that is by Alexa Claire's. This is a year calendar. And for the prize, you can pick which design you'd like. This is the Black Raven's Feather one, but I'll show you in a second all the other ones she does. This is perfect for us, Paul and I. We never have anywhere to write down like what we're doing the year. Say we've got a wedding coming up when he goes on tour. It was to keep us both organized. I'm actually going to blue tack it to this board and then I'm gonna hang it up that way. So the reason why I'm not just um, blue tacking it to where I'm gonna put it is this is slightly bigger than the edge of our unit because I just didn't want to cut up the print. I've done it on this, then on the back I have a way of hanging it. On the back I've attached string to one side, I'm going to see how much I need, then tie it to the other side. And then there we go, perfect. 
Here is a nice close up and then in a second I'll show you all the other designs. She does so many things. I was amazed when I was looking at her Etsy. This is by Alexa Claire. If you'd like to order one, she has also given a 20% discount code with Leanne in capitals 20. As usual, I'll put all the information down below. If you'd like to win this, follow her on Instagram, subscribe to both my channels and comment on this video, leaving your Instagram handle. Added some important dates. Paul's birthday and I'm gonna be 30 in 2019. Look how many sales she's done. That's insane. She has a lot, like a lot on her website. So she has loads of things like wrapping paper, clip art. So if you're like designing stuff and you need like variations of even like cacti, Santa hats, definitely check her out. There's Christmas cards. So if I look in sections, look how many things she has. So we'll be looking in planners and calendars. So this is the one I have. This is the large wall calendar. It's the Raven Feathers. But there is lots others to choose from. I don't know all the names. I know this one is a botanical one. So have a look on her Etsy and see which one you'd like to win. Also, just look at her Etsy in general. She has so much stuff. In my Instagram photo I've put up this evening, it has a photo of the calendar. So this is her Instagram. I thought I would show you what came with my parcel. She included a handwritten note saying thank you for being included in the giveaway. That's so adorable and I love her stationery, very nice. This is a card which will come along with your parcel. So it tells you a little bit more about her. This is how, I keep saying calendar, but it's actually a wall planner. This is how it comes, so it comes in a tube and even, oh look, even inside it's beautifully wrapped. Lovely tissue paper and a sticker with her name on. About to walk out the room and I turn around. Look how beautiful the tree looks without the main lights on. <sighs> I have my Dun Elm reusable bag so I don't need to buy a bag. Let's go. I might get a mini tree. They're only two pounds. Oh, two pound fifty. Look at the cacti. Has a moustache and hat. They've got half price on their reefs and garlands. to get myself a trolley. I was getting too many things. This year I'll be wrapping my presents with brown paper, which is recyclable and cheap. There we go, we've got all my bits from Wilkinson's and Kitty. I would do a little haul of the things that I picked up in Wilkinson and in QD. I'll start off with QD because that was the least amount of things I got. So for the garland I'm going to attempt to make for the stairs. Ideally I don't want a lot of colour going on because there's a lot of wood in there. These were 149 This was $4.99. I'm thinking I have spray paint so I could change the colour. I could either have maybe some of them silver, but the other ones I could spray. I've already got white spray paint. I bought some black spray paint. So if I'm keeping it very like black and white, maybe silver or a touch of gold, then it's very minimal. I got this little wreath. This was I think like 99p. The flowers come off and I'm thinking these would look nice to scattered along. I got blackboard spray paint just because it was a matte black finish. They only had this or a gloss black. On to Wilkinson's. I have lots of things. So I have five of these. These are artificial eucalyptus. They were a pound each and then they have silver glitter on them. So glad that I did bring along these bags and that I did bring two because everything fitted perfectly. Next I got these. These were two pounds and again I think they're just artificial eucalyptus and they have gold glitter. I got three of these and I've been going for odd numbers. I couldn't resist. I had to pick up one of these little Christmas trees. This was £2.50. I got some snow tipped pine cones. Oh they are attached on some string as well, which is handy, I didn't even know. And um, these were a pound for four. 
paper balls. I really wanted these in either white or black, but they only had them in green and red. I got them in two sizes. The smaller size is 80p and I got three of the small. And then I got the same color in the larger size and the larger size was one pound. I did think as well, I could always, once I put it together, I can always spray paint them. Last bag, this one isn't um, garland related, but I did film it when I was in the shop. Thinking wrapping paper this year, I'm gonna wrap in brown paper. This is just a craft roll. I think this was a pound. This is good because when the person has unwrapped the present, they can actually recycle this. This is a plastic coated. So yeah, recyclable, looks nice. I already have some string ready. I've ordered um, a stamp, like a brass stamp to do wax stamping. That hasn't come yet, so I need to see where that's gone. To make the garland, I'm going to attempt it with these, one pound 50 for two meters. This is tinsel, but it kind of does look like more of the a pound pine coat. And the last thing I got was the blue tack I needed. This planter I bought from Matalan. This fits the little Christmas tree I bought today perfectly. How satisfying is that? In answer to everyone asking if my parents were, no, my parents are definitely not swingers, just to clarify. Welcome back to today's cooking show. I'm cooking just for one because Paul decided to eat at his dad's. His dad did a casserole, so fair enough. We all know how much Paul loves casseroles. So as I said yesterday, I'm going to do salmon with sweet potato fries and stir fried veg. The oven has been preheating, that's on 200 degrees. First thing I wanna do is cut up the sweet potatoes. Usually I would do two, but it's just me, so I'll just do the one. Want to peel, then cut into parcel, then cut into fries. So Paul just went to pick up my parcels. I didn't tell you what happened. So earlier I filmed saying, I got a message from Yodel saying my parcel was delivered but it hadn't been delivered here. They delivered it to the wrong address. I had a woman coming around and she wasn't very happy to be honest. She slightly had a go at me, even though it's not my fault, but the yodel person had delivered it, had left it in her lobby when she wasn't there. No one had signed for it and she was really annoyed that obviously some person had gone into her lobby and left it there. It lovely. wasn't even a lobby really, kind of like a porch. It obviously gone in and just opened that and left it in there, which is weird. Yeah. The weird thing is it clearly says our address on the package. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be signed for. So bad, I just hope that when the next parcel, like the next part of the package comes, which is a wardrobe, that that gets delivered here. Because if that's delivered there, we won't be able to pick that up. It's huge. When I looked up her address, the postcode's different, so I don't get how it was there and, oh, I don't know. Look, look at our new addition on the wall. He never notices anything. A very important date. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Hello. You're showing off your tree. Of course I have. That was in yesterday's video. No, no, I watched it. Did you? Yep. You watched one of my videos? I've watched all three of them. What have you done? Aww, thank you. When I preheated the oven, I made sure the trays I needed were in there as well, so they're nice and hot, so it'll cook from the bottom as well. The oil. Salt and pepper. And paprika. They need to be in the oven for 18 minutes. A timer for nine, so halfway, and then flip them over and then put them back for another nine minutes. I used to do that, now I don't. I just kind of shove it in and just leave it for the whole time. I put these on the top shelf. I might just eat two portions. Tiny side facing in. Season it with some salt and pepper. Wrap it up. I put this in the middle shelf. Hey Google, set an alarm for 18 minutes. All right, your alarm set for 8.38 p.m. I'm having dinner late. <laughs> Whilst that's in the oven, we can start cutting up the vegetables. So I have usual kind of vegetables, courgette, peppers, broccoli, cauliflower, baby sweet corn, and mushrooms. I also have some ginger to cut up as well. A stock cube for flavoring the vegetables and some fish sauce. This is a way I was trying to show Paul how to cut a courgette. Cut it in half. Turn on the side, cut it that way, so then it's already cut into quarters, and then just cut along. Maybe I won't do cauliflower. I have a lot of veg. I'm usually used to doing portions for two people, so I think I'll stop there. Hey Google, how long is left on the alarm? You have an alarm at 8.38 p.m. 
cook the vegetables in a wok. I won't do it quite yet, they're still around, I think 14 minutes left. When it gets to more around five minutes, then I will cook the vegetables. Just use rapeseed oil. I'll cut up the ginger, I'll cook that first, then I'll put in the vegetables and I'll break in a quarter of a stock cube. Adding a little bit of water. Fish sauce, like three drops. Dinner is and there you go this is a very large portion usually wouldn't be quite this much but now i can dig in paul likes to add sweet chili sauce it tastes so good with salmon we're watching escape to the chateau again it's bringing back memories of vlogmas the first year so i'm gonna keep this here but i'm just gonna try it I opened up my argos package i'll show you the bits in a second but I've got these icicle lights, they're 160. Originally I thought I could zigzag them across the ceiling, there's definitely not enough to do the hallway. I don't know if it'll work with the garland, but we'll do a try. If I tie that round. I would have gone for a longer version, but all the longer ones were just white and not warm white. Does that look pretty? And then I can get some string and tie it up the actual banister. So I'm just attaching into where I tied the lights and then have it going down. Just gonna wrap this around. Thicken it up, go over it again. Maybe I'll like twist it around it. I'll sort that out later. Let's get in there with some of this eucalyptus. I may have to take these out. Next we got the pine cone. Oh that's good, they're on wire, that's so much better. I thought they're on string. Now to add the gold ones. I think I'll do that for now for gold and I can always add that later. Now I'm going to try the paper balls. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks like a nice colour actually. Now I'm going to try some balls. These are kind of like a very cool gold, like a silvery gold. I kind of like to sit so it's like in. It doesn't dangle, I want it to be like in. I'm going to add some of these smaller silver ones. What do you think? That looks amazing. Here are some close-ups of how it looks. They're more of a grey colour. I probably wouldn't say that they were green, to be honest. I had so many of the white flowers, so I dotted them around. I have some in this garland. And I added some in this wreath. Now off to bed, what's the time? Uh, midnight. It's midnight. So I won't be able to show you the Argos stuff tonight, but I'll show you that tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye.